Hey, Sam, what kind of time you got? I got about two hours to fish. Gotta go. There goes Sam. See how he's doing. So when I got there, Sam was chasing this bedding fish, and uh, we we're sort of taking turns trying to snatch this thing up. He was pretty picky and and uh, not very cooperative. He's smarter than us. Sight fishing that right next to those uh, the two closer poles. when you first come in and I see that guy is that the guy you're looking for right there oh, I mean, he's going for he's he wants it no he doesn't hit him with it he's he's right uh, just your side of that route your line's draped right across his dorsal fin you're pulling it right toward his mouth <laughs> all right now, now you got a side view of him you can whack him with it Oh shit, my drag, my drag, my drag is, oh, my drag wasn't pegged. Oh no. I started reeling and nothing happened. You gotta be joking. I cleaned this reel last night and didn't tighten the drag down. Yeah. He just mouthed it again. Yeah. Yeah, it's set this time. Uh, he just picked it up again, but he didn't really grab it, grab it. I have that on camera that I didn't have my drag set. Thank you for reminding me, too. <laughs> Damn it, he had it again. He's, he's picked it up three, four times now. I just can't seem to get him to commit to it. He just tore the nose off of it, too. Oh, I didn't realize you were going across from there. Yeah, maybe he likes the pink. So these are those headbanger lizards. Don't really know much about them. Watermelon red. Oh, this, this is not a shaky head. It's a rugby jig, but it does the job. This lizard isn't very lizard-like. Just looks like a. Well, this kind of looks like a creature bait. Doesn't look like anything special. Had him almost out of the water a second time. Let's see if he wants this this goofy green lizard. So right after I put on the banger lizard, Sam gave up. He probably won't be interested in this either. I'd be super surprised. The soup bowl. Huh? One of the soup bowl. Um, he liked that lizard. <laughs> he grabbed that. I bunked him in the melon first. He's really close to two. Yeah, hasn't got much of a belly on him. Yeah, nice scale. Cool. There we go. He's about yeah. He's about a pound and a half. He should be a two, but he's got no belly. Probably because all he eats is fake lizards. So this is what I came down here to throw on my VMC rugby jig, which you're supposed to use. And 
Any situation where a shaky head would be appropriate. I don't know what the hell that means. All right. It's like a little jig head. Almost like a net rig thing. But I got these head banger. The banger lizard. Got that in a... It's not really a mystery tackle box, but it's like a mystery tackle box. Uh, what do you call that? Um, Advent calendar. Advent calendar. That's so terrible. Let's see how they like it. Now that my drag is set. Let's see if we can get into some of these weeds over here. Not like that we won't. It's still dug in from catching the fish. I don't know if there's anything in these weeds. Come on up out of there. Here we are. There we go. I'm right at the top of the mouth. Speaking of mouths, give me your mouth. Thank you. He didn't know he's only about a pound. That's still a nice fish. I think this guy is done. We lost the tail. We lost the piece that makes it a lizard. We still got a couple more. I don't know how many they put in the pack? Three? Four. They gave me four. That's not a lot, but... You know, what do you expect? It's more like a sample pack than anything else. I don't know if I'd buy these again. I have to say they're a little, a little weak, kind of soft. Not that I bought them in the first place. They were indeed purchased for me. Blindly, of course, because it was a mystery tackle box. Wouldn't be much of a mystery if they told you what was in it. Although they do tell you what's in them if you actually check the numbers on their website. There's not a lot of mystery involved. And the real mystery is, where did the spooky fish go? Well, he was gone, because he's easily spooked. Real mystery is, what's that weird knocking sound you're hearing during the video? That was my old microphone. Uh, the little strap that held it to my chest, he uh, broke on the way down the path, and so it's just beating me in the chest like some sort of like war chant is going on the entire time. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I thought perhaps Sam got angry at that fish and decided to light him up. See, that's possible. Sam's an ex-cop and a uh, concealed carry guy, you know, for good reason. And you don't know when he's strapped. I think you got him, dude. Yep. And that's when Sam shot me. We could have. This guy is a struggler. It's hard to get a picture of this feller. Yeah, a little bit over a pound. Not huge, but hey, I'm super happy to have him. See what kind of damage he did to it. He beat that up pretty hard. Well, I'm gonna have to say, these things catch fish. Tail still in there. Like I said, it's a little soft, but you 
can't complain with results. Got him. <laughs> I got him for what it's worth. Oh my goodness. He's the little guy of the day. Mr. Ambition. Let's go ahead and snap a picture of him real quick anyway, because I like ambitious little guys. I thought I saw a line moving. Wasn't sure. I can't get my phone back in my pocket. This is redonkulous. It's my keys and stuff are all in the way. That's, that's, oh, sorry, my friend. I forgot you were there. Again with the lizard. Look at this poor little guy. I almost broke his jaw. It was, it was, not, it was not cool. So I started sight fishing some bedding bass along the bank. I recommend sight fishing to anybody um, who doesn't have enough stress in their life. Now it's sitting up loud and proud right in front of you. I'm going to leave you to it, bud, because I'm getting bored with looking at you. Oh, here's another pile of sticks with a little guy on it. What are you doing, bud? Are you a little more, are you a little more aggressive and angrier than your buddy over there? He wasn't yet. Um, after I moved along, he splashed on something behind me. And the fish will do that sometimes. They'll mock you and belittle you and kind of dare you to come back and try again. I took him up on it. All right, so this guy's just swirling on something right here. And that's the dude I was just messing with. He just had a dust up with somebody. Why don't you have a dust up with my lizard here? Think this lizard ain't mean? That didn't do me any good. I just tucked it right in the right in the folds. Which isn't a bad place to be. No. with the spining. Jeez. There's another good one. There's number five on the lizard. He's a good one. He's easily two, two and a half. I'm not expecting anybody to be home over here, but that guy just went right down on it. Oh! He had it too. He came right back at me. <laughs> I just watched his tail come from right to left. Dive down after this thing. Should let him grab it a little hardier. Wasn't much. He didn't really get all of it. That's for sure. He's still there. That's twice this thing's come back at my head. What the, what the hell? <laughs> he, did, he like stooked that thing a second time. And I think we're finished, boys and girls. And non binaries, because all are welcome to watch me fail or succeed. I'll just stop talking. Clearly out of things to say. That's gonna have to do, boys. Hopefully it doesn't suck the hole.